Dearly beloved, we gather here today to celebrate the beautiful couple of Caitlin and Copa. We hear, we're here to bear witness, again, that they are willing to spend the rest of their lives together. Forever. For all future time. Always. Those all mean the same thing. I just wanted to like drive that home for everyone. Okay. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it is a day for family and friends, and of course, food. Or most commonly known as the three F's. Okay. Now, Kaylin and Cooper's love is a love that I can only express with the wise words of Joey from the hit TV show Friends. It is a love that is based on giving and receiving, as well as having and sharing. And with that love that we give and share and received, and through this having and giving and sharing and receiving, we too can love and have and give and share and receive. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I won't go too much into their love story, mainly because I know Caitlin will want to do all that. Um, however, I will lightly gloss over it. Caitlin Cooper's relationships start off like most friends. Um, and then y'all made it out of the friend zone. Nice. <laughs> Truly a good job, buddy. Awesome. Um, but all jokes aside, I do remember one thing. When they met that military ball, uh, that's where their love began. And even though they probably didn't really know it, deep down they knew that they were meant for each other. At least we all know Caitlin did. Um, <laughs> Um, watching you two grow as individuals and as a couple has been my honor, and I am very grateful to call you guys my friends, but most importantly, my family. Uh, thank you for always greeting me with open arms, and I love you so much. And if y'all ever question my love for y'all, I will be greatly offended, just say. <laughs> um, because I would not be standing here facing one of my greatest fears in pedal pink and in cowboy boots. Your girl's from Hawaii. We wear slippers. <laughs> a whole lot of slippers. All right, so. Offer to do, I believe that the bride and the groom have provided threaded personal vowels. Have you? Yeah. Okay. All right, hold up. <laughs> Make sure we that yeah, part. have you? Because <laughs> otherwise, this would have ended Boy. not very well. Who would like to go first? Are you sure you're up to bat? Yeah. I think you're ready. You've been preparing for this moment. It's all up to you. <clears throat> So after a year of preparing these vows, um, I'm pretty sure Cooper prepared us in five minutes. Today. Um, Today. <laughs> Today. Um, but and after an hour of searching for them, because we lost them. I found them. I found them. <laughs> we found them. Uh, here it goes. Uh, for better or for worse, for sickness and in health, for richer or poor, until death do us part, those are traditional vows. Everyone can quote them, but nothing about us is traditional. I mean, nobody can live up to the all white happily ever after wedding gown because ultimately it's up to you and it's up to the one you love. A lot of hard work and a gamble, better odds than Vegas. We were born we were born 1700 miles apart and at some point in our lives, our parents moved to, our parents made the life altering decision to move to the city of Fort Worth, Texas. So that on Saturday, February 18th, which is my parents anniversary by the way, uh, our two lost souls, our two lost young souls could meet. And yes, I did say young because we are young. Some people might say too young, but are you ever, ever too young for love? You know love from the moment you were born. You learn yeah. hate, so no, you're never too young. Cooper Michael Cox, from the moment you sat down at my table at military ball, I knew there was something different about you. I just never knew the difference was one year, seven months, and 16 days later. I would be saying I do. Actually, it was a little bit sooner, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> I would be saying I do to you. So why do I love you? I love you because you're not like every other guy. You're difficult, childish at times. You don't eat much of a variety of food, like Thank five you. things. Me. Um, <laughs> I mean, y'all should have been there at the food tasting day. He literally ate like two things. You can ask my mom. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but with all those things, you, are, you, co you come along with this big, amazing heart and you sacrifice so much for me and I don't thank you enough. You always cuddle me to sleep no matter what and stand by my side and tell your friends even though I'm crazy as hell, sometimes you still love me and you, don't, and, you, and you won't leave. So I stand here today giving you my heart and hoping for the rest of our lives. You cherish it and hold it, and hold it safely and don't squeeze, it, squeeze onto it too hard when we fight. I stand here for, um, telling you I wanna, I wanna be married to you 
I want to grow old with you. I want to have children with you. I want to build a house with you because I'm picky and I need to build my own house. <laughs> I want to die at 105 years old in your arms. I want a lifetime with you. I love you. Uh, pass the mic, homie. Um, a little bit like this. Good. Um, she pretty much said it all, you know. I like to keep it short and sweet. Um, no, she uh, she definitely prepared it uh, a lot better than I did. Um, but what I do have to say is that, um, Kaylin, I've grown a lot over the year with you. And um, I wouldn't want to spend it with anybody else. And uh, I want to grow old with you as well. Even if it's 105. <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little old. You ask for a little much. But it means to be with you forever than I do it. Aww. And I want everlasting love with you. Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know how I'm gonna top that. <laughs> I can't even get a dog to look at me. So this is okay. <laughs> that was beautiful. There was. There was. You freestyled that. That was dang dog. That was good. That was okay. Um, now we've reached the part called the Declaration of Intent, where you good lock arms and awkwardly gaze in each other's eyes. Little closer. A little closer, a little closer. Yes, look in those eyes. There we go, there we go. Perfect, gorgeous, doing good. You're doing great, sweetie, okay. Okay, <clears throat> do you, Koopa, take Caitlin Winona Cox to be a lovely white wife, to have and to hold, for sickness and in health, for good times, in sad times, for richer, for poor, even though this woman talks in her sleep like she possessed. <laughs> even though she owns more shoes than all of us combined. <laughs> Literally, it's a wall of shoes. It's gotta, it's gotta go. You can like dive in it. We, we're having an auction, so if you want shoes, um, turn them out. The, the highest bidder? Yeah. This woman, who literally loves pumpkin spice so much that if it were a person, you will not be standing here right now. Yeah, I'd have to be a pumpkin. Oh, you'd have to be a pumpkin? You would turn into a pumpkin? I'd turn into a pumpkin. Oh bibbidi bobbidi boo boo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this woman, right here, yeah. who was literally so committed into winning an argument that even when she's wrong, she keeps going like she's right. I mean, like, to be honest, for all of our safety purposes, this woman is always right. So I just thought I'd put that out there. Okay. For as long as you both shall live. Aw, say yay, we off to a good start, guys. Okay. All right, Caitlin. <laughs> Do you, Caitlin, take Cooper, Michael Cobb, to be your lawfully wed husband, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, in good times, in sad times, for rich or for poor, even though this man has no problem doing 90 miles an hour in a 40. That's true. That is saying, one hefty bro. speeding ticket. I'm just saying that, you know, putting that out there. Don't drive <laughs> this man, who, like, who, when you ask for a bite of his food, literally a bite, he looks at you like you offended his ancestors. <laughs> this man, who literally only eats five things, like you had to say. Like if it's not steak or burgers, it's banished from his area, like exiled, it's gone. Who has his music so loud that 